lost in a world he cannot understand. In school, he was molded to think like an automaton, fall in line, obey the rules. He was taught to respect authority. Everyone else knows better, they said. Meanwhile, the world moved on. Like plastic, it molded itself around him, entered his home, his life, his entertainment, his work, subverting his very existence. He remembers home, the large open fields, the clean air and sparkling water. Those were the good old days. There was a place for everything. He works harder, longer, spends more, yet is less happy. What happened, he wonders? Is he still a living, breathing person? Or a mere product bought and sold by nameless, faceless, elitists? Don't data companies mine his private information to sell him things he does not need? Don't governments tax him to pay back loans they borrow from banks? Development, they say. Then why is he the one who has lost his lands and forests to private miners, his food to corporates, his access to clean water and air to toxicity? The God he once believed has deserted him. His priest tells him to fast make bigger donations, to attend church, yet it is never enough. He is still empty. So here he is in his favorite rocking chair, wondering how it all came to this. What does it take to reclaim sovereignty over his own mind, body and consciousness? He wonders. Self-ownership, also known as sovereignty of the individual or individual sovereignty, is the concept of property in one's own person, expressed as the moral or natural right of a person to have bodily integrity and be the exclusive controller of one's own body and life. <laughs> 